I had a discussion recently with a public servant who operates one of the statutory um, entities in the government. And uh, she was telling me that um, she has a fundamental belief against um, getting vaccinated. Hmm. So as I said to her, well, you know, if you want to hold on to fundamentalism, that's your choice. But at the end of the day, you cannot um, come into the government or go into government um, office as an unvaccinated person. So you have a choice of um, either getting vaccinated or stay home. And she then said to me that she wanted um, the right to get um, a, a car vote on the, um, the religious um, exemption. Hmm. So I said to her, the only religion that we know that from time immemorial would have practiced, um, uh, uh, let's say, a no vaccine policy um, is, is um, the Rastafarian uh, religion and no other. So for you to conveniently say now that your religion is against vaccines, there's no way that the government will accept that. Then she said too that she wanted to work um, remotely. I said to her, you can make that decision. You will have to write to the cabinet to get um, that authority to work um, uh, remotely. Hmm. So the point I want to make here though is that um, those who believe that they can conveniently use exceptions those exceptions must be approved by health officials in the case of um, of um, health exemptions. And if, for example, the person uh, is speaking to the issue of working remotely, so far the only group of, um, of um, public servants who have been given the right to um, work, work remotely are teachers. And the cabinet will be very reluctant to um, you know, unless we have no other choice to allow that type of situation, which um, people could conveniently utilize remote um, or request um, to work um, remotely to avoid getting vaccinated.